My name is Diana from Transform Health. I want to tell you eight tips today about how to lower your inflammation. Now, why is this important? Well, it turns out that no matter what disease someone might have, most diseases are involved with inflammation. So if you can lower your inflammatory load, the risk factors that cause inflammation, you can help your condition regardless of what it is. So even though you're not curing the actual condition, you might just make the condition better. Number one, try having turmeric in your diet. Turmeric is a natural herbal anti-inflammatory. It's an East Indian spice, so you can work it into any kind of foods. I like to have it with super stew, rice, or on dishes like apple. Next, try adding magnesium to your diet. Magnesium is a common deficiency today because of soil deficiency, and it's tied to over 300 processes in the body. So if we're having a deficiency, it can affect a lot of different systems. So, and since it's such a common deficiency, why not try it? I like to use magnesium citrate. I don't have a brand in mind. I just like that it fizzes and it doesn't taste quite so metallic. And then third, try adding coconut oil to your diet. Coconut oil is a natural herbal anti-inflammatory as well. It's also antibacterial and antiviral. It has a it had pretty high smoke point, so you're able to cook with it. Um, I would say not stir fry too much, too high, but it can take cooking, uh, like say burgers and such. You can also add it to soups. If you're gonna add it to a smoothie, you might consider using a liquid form like MCT oil. It's a um, medium chain triglyceride. It tastes a little bit lighter, so it's easier to add. Next, try adding wild game or grass-fed meat and their fats to your diet. Most of us are in this situation where we have a high amount of omega-6 in our diet from the grains that we eat and also the grain-fed animal protein that we eat. This can cause a problem because the omega-3 and 6 go through the same conversion pathway. If we can instead raise the amount of omega-3 foods from the left side and lower the amount of omega-6 that most of us get too much of from the right side, then it can lower our inflammatory load. Basically, this will bring us back into balance as to what our body has been used to over the millennia. Try having less sugar. When we have sugar, we need to pull magnesium out of our body in order to deal with the sugar. So when we already have a deficiency of magnesium, it can actually make it worse. On top of that, sugar is inflammatory and addictive, and it's just something we don't need in our diets. Consider trying fish oil in your diet. There's been some debate as to whether the best source is a fermented fish oil or just a normal fish oil from the market. Uh, fermented fish oil is a lot more costly, so some people were objecting to it because it runs about $40 per bottle. Fish oil can thin out the blood, so beware of that. If you are on heart medication, blood pressure medication, or blood thinning medic medication like warfarin, please beware of fish oil because it does have a blood thinning effect and you want to talk to your doctor before you add it to your diet. And last, I have two herbal sources to recommend of omega-3s. One is flax oil. You want to get this from the cold section of the health food market in a dark bottle. Please keep it in cold, either the fridge or the freezer. And it has a very light taste normally. So if it starts tasting strongly or smelling bad, it has gone rancid, rancid and you, you want to get rid of it. The next herbal source of omega-3 is an herb called purslane. You may not remember this herb. I was never really introduced to it either, but I know that it, I've heard about it in old texts. It tastes a little bit like lemon. It's a succulent herb and it's kind of crunchy on the leaves. I tried eating the stem and it was a little bit gooey, but the leaf itself is really, really nice and I can imagine it, it with salad. And I just pulled some out of my garden. I'm gonna try to have it grow inside the house so I can have it all winter. If you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to see more, nutrition and herbal tips from me, please consider clicking subscribe down there on the subscribe button. And if you'd like to sign up for my free email newsletter, it comes out once a month, you can do so on my website, transformhealth.biz. You would go to the contact page and the lower half is where you sign up for email newsletter. I hope that helps you and we'll see you next time. Thanks.